Bye bye sign. So this is gonna be your weekend reading. This could resonate. I don't know. I feel like I have a piece of hair in my mouth. Okay. This could resonate at any time. I just thought it'd be fun to do a weekend spread just to see what's going on or if you're confused about something or you need guidance of some sort. Then I'm like, oh, let's see if this resonates with people. Ooh, wow, your energy wanted to come up right off the bat. The King of Wands showed itself to me. So, universe, can I get a spread? You could want something new. Universe, can I get a spread for fire signs? There is Leo Sagittarius for the weekend. Can I get a spread for fire signs. Yeah, something new, Will of Fortune, whatever it is, it's going to go in your favor. If there's a new offer of some sort, job, relationship, anything like that, it'll be a good one for you. Can I get more? Oh, yeah. Ace of Wands keeps wanting to show itself to me. So, yeah, you definitely want something new. You could be with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio currently. Ooh, okay. All right. So this could be you being really strong right now. You have the Strength card, but you could be a Leo, of course. You have the Justice card and the Queen of Wands. So you could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, and you could have got the truth with the Justice card about this situation. The situation might call you to have some strength. I get one more card for Aries, Leo, Sag. One more card. King of Cups, okay. So this could be an offer. It could be from a friend or an ex or an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Hmm. Okay, you could be wanting to make this offer or maybe receive this offer. Damn, okay, you got the Queen of Swords again with the World card. So yeah, definitely an air sign could be coming in for you. You risk clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for fire signs? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for fire signs? King of Swords, the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. To be starting something with that. I don't feel like you can't cut out the Wheel of Fortune. It's like divine. So yeah, this is definitely an air sign here. Clarify the King of Swords. Universe, clarify the King of Swords. Could be dealing with a Libra, the Justice card here. Or maybe you're going to meet a Libra. Because this is like new energy here. You have the star card, so it could be done with an Aquarius or... Ooh, okay, so there could be... You have the... Okay, so this new opportunity or this new relationship or this new something that you're in is now the Five of Wands. Could be... Okay, so it's very fresh, very new relationship, and it's like you guys are already fighting, already arguing, or maybe you're like a little bit in your head about the situation... You could have got the truth about the situation with the star card here. Or some light could have been shed on the situation. Universe, clarify the five of wands. This is already a lot of energy for the weekends. I thought the air signs shit was crazy. I know y'all just gonna be extra. But let's get into it. This is why I love fire signs. <laughs> right. Ooh, you have the tower. So you could have tried to maybe avoid a tower moment. Maybe avoid some news or some surprise or something because it was in the reverse so i'm getting like maybe you're trying to avoid it damn okay so you got the queen of swords again you got the king of swords the queen of swords so somebody here because i do feel like there's multiple people involved is your soulmate king of swords queen of swords somebody here is could be a fire sign or a water sign but i feel like some communication here with the queen of swords some communication started a fight yeah. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here with the Five of Wands? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Oh, hello. Ooh, Six of Swords. Okay. So, you could be moving towards a Sagittarius. Or you could be moving towards calmer waters. Or trying to calm the situation down with a Sagittarius here with the Temperance card. Hmm. Okay, so I'm noticing the rainbow in this card. Maybe like... Maybe you guys have been arguing and you're trying to like restore the balance here, especially with the justice card here. You're just trying to like get shit together. You are holding on to so oh, 
hello. Somebody's holding on to something or somebody. You got the two of pentacles with the four of pentacles. So you could be holding on to maybe a piece of information or holding on to another person here. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's see. Why is the strength card here? Yeah, this is definitely calling for you to have strength. Could be mental strength with all these swords. Queen of Cups. Yeah, there's strong soulmate energy here. Somebody is your soulmate. Whether it is this fire sign or this air sign, somebody is your soulmate. And with justice here, I think you're getting the truth on who. Because you have the Queen of Cups. These They could both be your soulmate, honestly. Because you got two... or. You got the Queen of Cups, King of Cups, and the King of Swords, Queen of Swords. So they could both be a soulmate here, and that's why you're holding on to both of them. Or this could all go vice versa. But the, somebody has two soulmates, and you're holding on to both of them, and that is causing irritation in the situation. And it could be just irritation in your head or with the actual people. Damn fire signs, come on. <laughs> Why is the Queen of Cups here with the strength card? So you guys having a good weekend, okay? So, ooh. Okay, so I'm noticing the sun and the stars. So you could be a Leo. Somebody could be an Aquarius with the star and the sun. But you have the high priest here. So this is calling you to make a judgment, and it's calling you to make a wise decision. I mean, it would be wise to make a decision is pretty much what I'm getting from that. Yeah, two of wands. You've got to make a decision here. You have the hanged man in reverse with the knight of wands. I feel like this is you with the knight of wands here. Now, you are going to start a cycle or end a cycle with somebody, and it will lead to victory here with the world card and the six of wands. So let's clarify the king of cups. Why is the king of cups here? But yeah, this is new. If you are in a relationship with one of these people or both of these people, no judgment. Um, it's very, ooh. Okay, so you just got in a relationship. Somebody just got in a relationship here. Some Something was said. Something was revealed. You're fighting. Boom. Here comes an offer from a Cancer Pie Scorpio. Could be any, any sign. Doesn't matter. But somebody with a very loving energy. Very nurturing energy. Could be a fire sign. Somebody may ask you out. Or you may ask somebody else out because something here with the nine of swords and the seven of swords ooh, and the eight of swords, hello, did not go as planned at all. So it kind of led to you just like, I'm going to clarify all these swords right here, but you have the nine of cups. So by the end of the weekend, you could find yourself single. Hmm. Okay. So yeah. Ooh. And the death card. Okay. Yeah. You could find yourself single. You could be with a water sign because if you watch the water sign video, let's go watch it. Okay, yeah. But anyway, um, you could be breaking up with a water sign or a water sign could be breaking up with you. It could be a Gemini. And then, boom, you start, like, you have another one right here. So it's like you're in a fresh relationship. You end the fresh relationship. Now is another fresh relationship right here. Or like fresh whatever. It don't have to be relationships, but I'm feeling like it is. Okay, so clarify, universe, clarify all these swords. You got the seven, the eight, and the nine. So you are progressing in whatever you're supposed to be learning here with the justice card. You're making progress. You're not the ten yet. So it's like some was hope. Ooh, that flipped it right out. Yeah, you could have got news from a water sign. You have the page of wands here. And the Seven of Cups, but something here confused you. Whatever this was, whatever this fighting is, it confused you about the relationship that you're currently in. And yeah, now you're kind of like, yeah, you got some news. It could be some iffy news. Usually this is pretty good news. I mean, it could be good news, like a blessing kind of like, you know, like rejection is God's protection type of shit. But yeah i think you i'm getting changed your mind or i'm getting like are reevaluating what you've put yourself into king of pentacles 
Ooh, okay, so yeah, this could have been a karmic situation. Could have just been a sexual situation, and maybe you didn't know that when you got into it. So clarify the Queen of Wands. So yeah, you have two soulmates here, which is very, very, very karmic. And you gotta pick one. Universe, why is the Queen of Wands here? And this is all over the weekend, good lord. Universe, why is the girl? Ace of Wands. You got a lot of aces. You have the Ace of Wands. You had it twice. You got the... Yeah. So, you could want... Ooh, Injustice again. So, you're getting the truth about both of these situations. Both of these soulmates. Air sign, fire sign. You're getting the truth. And now you have to make a judgment. You have to make a decision. With the Death card, you may choose to walk away from both. Clarify justice. The first judge. You got justice twice. So there's like definitely a truth is coming out or something is being revealed to you for sure. Probably said to you with all these swords. Ooh, yeah, moon card. Something's being revealed. Something that you didn't know. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Why is the moon card here? Universe, why is the moon card here? Ooh, hello. Hmm. High Priestess with the Four of Wands, so maybe a connection that you're in, you could be married, but maybe a connection that you're in. The High Priestess, the moon is secrets, and the High Priestess reveals. It's like an intuitive feeling that you get, so if your gut is telling you something, listen to it. Something here, somebody here is the Five of Wands, and someone here is the four of wands somebody is marriage material somebody is bullshitting you like that's why you have to make this decision all lessons here okay Ooh, three of swords with the knight of cups there's a water sign involved maybe like i said you guys could be like breaking up or like something is not going well but I feel like it hasn't been going well if it's, I don't feel like this is an all of a sudden type of thing. If you're dealing with a Pisces, it's not an all of a sudden type of thing. But if you're dealing with a water sign or an air sign, it's very fresh and very new. Okay. So yeah, you have the Fool with the Five of Cups in reverse. So something that was making you feel, okay, so if you want to walk into a new opportunity, which there's newness all over this, when you walk into something new, you'll come out of this Five of Cups energy. Five of Cups is like feeling disappointed. You won't feel disappointed anymore if you take this leap of faith with either something else, somebody else, or being single. Because something is not right here. No, I took a lot of cards out of that. Let's use this one. Maybe let's clarify the Fool. Why is the Fool here? Yeah, I feel like you, you need to start from scratch. Like, I'm just getting that type of energy. Like, if you want to restore the relationship that you're in, you guys need to, like, start over. Like, if that's even possible, something's got to restart because you just got new all over this. Ooh, Six of Cups with the Death card. Yeah. If you're in a relationship... Something is going to end. Once you end it, balance will be restored in your life. Whether it's ending a behavior, ending the whole relationship, ending something. Maybe you have an ex in the picture. You need to end it. Because right after you end it, you got a new beginning. Somebody told me that there was a new moon on the 5th. I don't really pay attention to what's up in the sky, but definitely endings and beginnings. So this could be why all this is here. Probably still in that moon, new moon energy. But yeah, some something that was said with the king and queen of swords, definitely communicators, caused a fight. And it's like, it's just making you feel all these swords, all this, like, I don't want to say regret, but like reconsidering. Just leave it there. Okay, so let's get some advice regarding this spread for you guys. Universe, what's the advice for fire signs regarding this spread? Ooh, nine of Earth, so... Ooh, 
nine of earth and the eight of water. So this is a very single energy here with the nine of earth. Maybe you would be more abundant by yourself at this time. Also, you have the eight of water. So maybe you need to you need to emotionally walk away from one of these things or both. Let me get one more card. We're just gonna get one more card of advice for fire signs. One more card of advice for fire signs. I don't even know what to caption this video, yo. I don't even, I don't even know. Shit. Can I get one? Okay. Ooh, hello. Okay, so nine of air. You also have the nine of air here. It's like the nine of swords. So if you're feeling a heaviness, okay, if you're a Leo, you've got the love card in here, you got the little Leo sign in the back of this card. If you're a Leo and you're feeling a heaviness, the advice here is to walk away from one or both or all, whatever, walk away. Whatever you intuitively feel with the high priestess, walk away from it. The advice. But for if you're not a Leo, the advice here is one, to use your intuition because you got intuition cards all over this place and also decision cards all over this place. So make a decision. But um, Nine of Pentacles here, I'm going to focus on yourself, focus on your abundance. If somebody is using you for money or you're spending a lot of money on somebody, maybe think about it because they might not have the best intentions here with the Seven of Swords. Their intentions might not be so pure. So, yeah, maybe think about that. Or I don't even want to say think about it because you got intuition cards here. So whatever you're feeling, go with it. So, yeah, anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was a good reading for you and enjoy your weekend.